welcome to another edition of We Stream, the official reaction channel of Epic Rap Battles of History! Finally checking out King Kong vs. Godzilla. And I say finally because some of us have known about this battle for what, three or four years when they first teased it and talked about it? And we are finally here to see Godzilla vs. King Kong in all their CG rendered glory played by Lloyd and Pete. Now, that's all the intro I got. I, I want to finally watch this. Oh, I should probably wear headphones. Useful for hearing. Uh-huh. I like the King Kong! All right, so King Kong kind of looks like a silverback gorilla in this version. I like the silhouette of our boy Godzilla there. You know, one thing I was very curious to hear is what they did with the voices of these characters, and, uh, for Godzilla, I suppose they said, DISTORTION! That is his voice. You know, that checks out. The only sound we know from Godzilla is a bit higher pitched than this, but it is quite the distorted feel. Anyway... All right, so I'm not sure if that's a, a specific, like, reference, uh, you know, the way that's phrased and with the dog, D-A-W-G. But just, we're starting with a nice little flex that he flew. I like Kong getting conquered. That's a fun, fun play on Kong. And from the depths of the sea, because that's where Godzilla's from. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> Rodent, Mothra, and the homies. This does feel like an ERB doesn't do things unintentionally. I feel like they're trying to make Godzilla feel like an OG rapper here. I don't know if it's a specific reference to actual OG rappers. He's rolling with the dogs. Mothra. <laughs> Those are other kaiju characters, by the way. Giant monsters in the Godzilla universe that sometimes help Godzilla, if you don't know. Uh, primates are social creatures, but... King Kong is all alone. But Godzilla's not, he's got the crew. You're a creeper. Oh, wait, no, you're a simpanzi instead of a chimpanzee is what he's about to say. <laughs> oh, I like that, simpanzi. You know, that that's nice. Your only friend is a damsel in distress who cringes while you sniff on her rip. Nice. All right, Godzilla don't simp. Godzilla don't crush. Let's go, Godzilla. Oh, the disclaimer. Godzilla is way better than King Kong, so fuck you. Moving on. Yeah, Godzilla would never. Godzilla was an allegory for nuclear war. You don't reason with or capture a nuke. The nuke does what it wants. I don't exactly know what Tokyo Plate is. I'm assuming it's just a, a dish of food, but Tokyo is a city that Godzilla eats. But I just love the here comes the airplane. King Kong on the Empire State Building batting away. The airplane shooting at him. Here comes the airplane, Billy. That's that's funny. City like from Tokyo Plate. You get food fed hot red like here comes the airplane. I'm dropping off the Empire Field. I'm just these small rats. If this beat down is real, I got this back. Sir. No! <laughs> is it nice Peter playing Godzilla? I thought Epic Lloyd's supposed to be the zero chill character in these. That's what he said, right? Hold on. He sure did. Uh, if you don't know what just happened. So falling off the Empire State Building, how did that feel? Because King Kong fell off the Empire State Building. It was beauty that killed the beast. Jesse Smollett. That's the dude who, if you don't remember, faked a bunch of hate crimes uh, and all this crap for social media clout. I think he's in trial for it right now. Yeah, this is a real beatdown, not the, not the made-up. <laughs> that is wild. Zero chill mode engaged. 
Nice. Bento lid. I think those are just Tupperware lids, but maybe it's something else. I see why we said bento lid because of the rhyme scheme. You know, Donkey Kong made an ass out of you. King Kong, Donkey Kong, a donkey, otherwise known as an ass or a jackass. Nintendo made an ass out of you. That's some clever wordplay. The only game I play is Rampage Lizzie. Beauty kills this beast that you trust ain't free. Okay, okay, we're, we're, we're responding. Twas beauty that killed the beast. I said that earlier, King Kong. Reference, he say, you're not pretty enough to kill me. And then Rampage, that's a fun game where you play as giant creatures. Lizzie, is that the name of the lizard in Rampage? It might be. All right. Oh, wait, your ass brain is hanging with these monkey bars. You ain't got punchlines. You barely even got arms. You... <laughs> Little baby arms, no punchlines because you can't punch with those little arms. Except if we're talking about the Godzilla and the terrible, what was it? Was that Brendan Fraser? No, no, it's that other guy, right? I'm bad with names. US Godzilla is what I'm talking about. That Godzilla had arms, but yeah, traditionally Godzilla's arms aren't that long to be throwing haymakers. What is his name? He played Ferris Bueller. That guy's in it, terrible movie. I'm sure it'll get mentioned because that movie's too terrible for King Kong to not use it as a diss. Your ass brain is hanging with these monkey bars. You ain't got punch lines. You barely even got arms. And I'm not the biggest King Kong nerd. Full disclosure, I'm a pretty big Godzilla nerd. But I think I know enough about King Kong lore to get me through this because of how many times King Kong's been involved in Godzilla stuff. It means I've seen a lot of King Kong movies. I've seen most of the King Kong movies, honestly. Even the three-hour Peter Jackson one. Which actually, if they had edited that movie down a bit, pretty decent. The bug scene? Truly horrifying cinema. There's no music, it's just the sounds of the bugs crawling through the caves. Good job, Peter Jackson. That was terrifying. The movie as a whole, eh. Anyway, moving on. You came off the base for Frankenstein. First time you made a movie. And I dumped on you like Barkley at the base of my food. Listen, that movie was junk. We're talking about the first King Kong versus Godzilla movie. I had that movie on VHS. King Kong wins somehow. It was stupid. Dumb, dumb, dumb. That movie is lame because of that. He said, came off the bench for Frankenstein. I'm trying to think where Frankenstein would be involved. There's got to be a deep cut reference. So I'm going to use my guessing brain that at some point, maybe King Kong was supposed to fight Frankenstein's monster instead of Godzilla. Because he said, come off the bench for, that means replace someone. And so if he's saying in the first movie, you came off the bench for Frankenstein, it means in the first movie, you replaced Frankenstein. I'm sure it's somewhere in that realm and the disc would hit harder if I knew exactly. Someone in the comments is going to know and act like it's common knowledge even though it's not because that's how you little snots are but anyway moving on cankles cankles did you call him cankles because of his chunky thighs <laughs> okay and barkley charles barkley he's a basketball player don't worry about it like barkley the base of my booty face fast cankles you can't feel since yourself so they bring the mammal in the nurse and fills back the hell yeah get out of here godzilla sells plenty Minus one that just came out. That thing smashed. No monkeys in sight. Don't you quote Snoop to me? Okay, so there was a Snoop Dogg reference earlier? Maybe. Probably. I'm assuming so. I don't know Snoop Dogg well enough, but it felt Snoop Doggy earlier. So I'm just gonna assume it was. All right, so Kong's trying to establish his own street cred. Okay. Wonder of the world and the word when I ride. If you think you're going to compete with mine, just say you're back. Okay. Here's your sign was pretty hard that he just did sign language. King Kong learned sign language and a lot of stuff with gorillas in general. That was nice. The whole talking about his words and his wordplay. And then here's your sign. Okay. All right, King Kong. The world and the word when I ride. If you think you're going to compete with mine. Bro, he's like, you think that you could compete with my mind? I could literally communicate with people. That, that, that's hard. <laughs> Man, some of those old dubs of the Japanese films are pretty fun, though, with how bad and mismatched it is. Damn, he says you're not even the bombest from the sea. What's Kraken? Because Kraken is, uh, he's making an argument Kraken's cooler than Godzilla. I, I honestly, I, while Kraken might be lore, like in the lore of Kraken, more strong than Godzilla, Godzilla's cooler than Kraken. Fuck you. Big 
bong. That was a nice placement. Fuck your life. Bing bong. Nice. Hollow Earth theory. And a lot of people say Kong is from the Hollow Earth empty threats. Nice. That, that, that fucking, that radioactive fire breath be, be so cool. That monkeys throw shit. Jeez, there's a lot of references caked in here. Who would have thought an ERB with a lot of caked in references? Ooh. Pacific Rim 2 hurt a lot of us. Pacific Rim was so good. Pacific Rim's a kaiju monster movie, by the way, if you don't know. And it was just unexpected, out of nowhere, fucking slapped. And then they made a sequel. And then they made a sequel. Why are we dragging Pacific Rim into this? God damn. All right. So he just referenced the son of Godzilla, which is like a goofy little kid show spinoff where it's baby Godzilla. So I like that he's using that before King Kong could use it against him. And then he said, you couldn't measure up to the shin of Godzilla, let alone the son of oh, God. And I, I think we need to we need to cool off after that. That was a. Uh, that was aggressive. Jesus, don't be mean to Jack Black, but you know, Jack Black is typically known for comedy. Uh, he was in the Peter Jackson film we talked about earlier. Does King Kong make out with the monsters he fights? That's, that's lore I'm not familiar with. I know he like bites their heads off and stuff, but he be, he be, he be making out with some snakes. What, what, what business King Kong be up to that I'm not aware of? Wrestling, he Jesus. He said, suck my dick. And Tenacious D's because Tenacious D is is Jack Black. He's just owning it. And then Titan because he's considered a Titan. So it's a double on Titan and Titan. That, that was a nice opener, King Kong. Stop doing well because I hate you. <laughs> Okay, you ain't a rap Godzilla, so rap God and Godzilla, Eminem, a double Eminem reference. Your fish lips around, tenacious D, you ain't a rap Godzilla, more like brain me. Japan, you were a metaphor for nuclear war. Yep. In Hollywood, they left your ball on the cutting room floor. Damn, it's true. But, I mean, you can kind of say the same about Kong. You never get any good Kong schlong shots. Justice for Kong schlong! Maybe we'd watch King Kong movies and enjoy them if we got more Kong schlong. Am I right, ladies and fellas? Come on! And then the 90s didn't make you any cooler. What kind of pumpy chump gets pumped by Ferris Bueller? So there you go. I mentioned that. That's the shitty 90s movie in New York with Ferris Bueller's actor, who I still can't remember his name at this point. But that that's the one I was talking about, where somehow a taxi cab survives being chewed on by Godzilla. I will give it this, though. I liked the monster design. The Godzilla of the 98 film was kind of cool looking. I know a lot of people didn't like it because it didn't look like normal Godzilla, but I fucked with it. I thought it was a cool design of Godzilla. It's just a shame that the movie around it existed. And then the 90s didn't make you any cooler. What kind of pumpy chump gets pumped by Ferris Bueller? So go ahead and blow blue. I'ma make you cold blue. I'm an oxygen destroyer. And now you're all too. Now you're Owen too. All right, I like that. He's gonna make sure that you dead. You shouldn't try to talk about the atom. The beast to be from 20,000 fathoms. And now he's talking about Adam splitting. This is a nice rhyme scheme. I want to appreciate it again. The 20,000 fathoms. Oh, you shouldn't try to talk about the atom. The beast to be from 20,000 fathoms. Couldn't fathom. You could come at me with Iron Man and throw off the destroy. I'm bigger than witches and I'm so good to trip with like a so I don't know when King Kong sided with Iron Man and Thor. I'm sure it's happened because Marvel Comics have a very colorful history of these sorts of crossovers. But I do like that we're bringing in Ghidorah to this, the three-headed dragon monster. He's like, you can come at me, but I got my homies. We'll fuck you up no matter who you come with. Your voice cuts deep in this mix, too. They, they, they got that distortion going crazy. Spit the words for Turtle Island in the palm pass. Oh, God. Spit the verse that turns out Skull Island into Pompeii, Pompeii, destroyed by a volcanic eruption. He's saying his verse is... <laughs> you know, the Godzilla sound to fucking Skull Island where good old uh, King Kong lives. You get it. Anime 
made it rabbit fur flam flambe. No idea what that's in reference to, but I know it's in reference to something, and I'm trying to do, like, my hypothetical, are the context clues there for me to figure out? And nothing's coming to mind. I can't even context clue my way into that reference. I have no idea what we're talking about. Harambe! No! Now, Harambe, I would be rooting for, but not King Kong. It's not sad that King Kong's dying, Godzilla. Fuck King Kong. Jesus. I think he actually did a haiku there, too. Damn, I despise you. You make weak. Takusatsu, isn't that? I think that's just the genre of Japanese television that's, like, super goofy. Kind of like where Power Rangers and stuff came from. Has King Kong been involved? I guess he would just make a weak variant of that is what we're saying. I just appreciate that this might be the, the syllable count of a haiku. I, I don't know off rip, but it might be. Like a soft, like just tofu, like a kaiju haiku. So, you know, haikus are considered soft and poetic. He's saying, you're soft, like a kaiju haiku, because kaiju, big monster thing. Okay. See me, I'll do you like I did to mechanical. See me, I'll do you like I did to mechanical. Yeah, he did beat up a giant fucking robot version of everything. Oh, fuck you, Adam. Oh, you had you know, they had to, you, you know, float, float King Kong ends of some floaty balloons. Anyways, there he is. There you go. Uh, anyway, she's like yawning. I like it. Into mechanical. Fuck you and the balloons you rolled in on. Anyways, that was more disappointing than your anime. I haven't seen the Godzilla anime, but I do be knowing that anime is often disappointing, so I'm taking his word on it. Like 98 is just another anime. Okay, that is a clever bar. 98 is the shitty Godzilla movie, but he says another egg you laid because one of the plot lines of that movie is Godzilla's laying a bunch of eggs under New York, which is also part of the whole they cut your balls off in Hollywood because they made Godzilla into a woman as well, or at least a reptile that could self-reproduce. I forget what the, the, the thing was. It was either like a hermaphrodite Godzilla or a female Godzilla. I don't remember. But it laid eggs under New York, and the end of the movie, one of the eggs hatches as like a big... Oh no, this is there's gonna be a sequel, and there was never a sequel because the movie flopped because it was awful. Anyway, that was that was clever. Ugly Mothra fucker, so he's saying he's fucks Mothra now, okay. Mothra again, another one of those kaiju beasts. Ugly Mothra fucker, still don't know how you got pregnant. Your whole suit's up in rubber. And there he goes. I don't know how you got pregnant because of the New York movie again. Your whole suit's rubber because the Japanese version's very much dude in a rubber suit. King Kong! Pretty good! No fear, Gojira! The, the original naming. Damn. Hondas do be reliable, but damn. That stings. I I'm mad at King Kong doing well. <laughs> You're not allowed to do well, King Kong. Be no victory dancer, keep hands, we'll leave no sense. Cause if you talk, kick at me, I'll shot a tree on your neck. That was pretty weak, but okay. What's all monsters attack? I don't know what that is, but apparently it's a recycled crap movie. Or Damn! Brian Cranston in one of the more recent Godzilla movies was the best character in the movie and he dies in the first act. Spoiler. Which just fucking sucked. And so you say, Godzilla, you've been dead for the first act. There is some truth to that because Godzilla's hardest verse was the first verse. Who won? I don't know. Oh, Who won? That was a tough, tough decision. Three years waiting for this, maybe four. It's one that I'll rewatch a few times, so I could definitely say that it was at least at least mainly worth the wait. All Around It also makes great beats, and that's who did this. ERB is live, not near me, but if I lived in London, I could go. Or on one of the coasts. Yeah. Yeah. Who won? Now, obviously, Godzilla's way cooler, so by default, Godzilla wins. But who won one? It's one of those battles that is really well done, so there's some pondering to be had. Godzilla's first verse was his best verse, so far as I'm concerned, but that verse went crazy, and he held a pretty good a pretty good pace. King Kong didn't have any verses that blew me away from a whole verse perspective, but he had a lot of good lines. 
I think Godzilla's flow was more appealing, and I liked his rhyme schemes better. I think King Kong was more consistent. I think I'd go with who felt more savage. So I'm gonna go just to the more savage character since it's kind of a tie in my brain. The more savage wins, which is Godzilla. Good thing Godzilla's more savage. He's way cooler. You leave your opinions below. I gotta keep cooling down because this is just such a hot battle. <sighs> You know, if you're still here, make sure you consider supporting me on Patreon. Or if you're poor, go subscribe to my music channel after the tone. I don't know. But until next time, I scheme, you scheme, we all scheme for ice cream. Bye!